Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Tales of Zestiria and on this episode we are going to continue on with the storyline so I've made my way over to Pear Lotes Pasture, hopefully I said that correctly and you want to head into the hunting grounds. This domain, it's so strong. Heldolf is here. There's no mistaking it. Right, so we actually want to go this Final way then. Showdown, huh? I see some. Oh, can we not go up there? I'm gonna go the long way round then. Oh, I remember. We did come through here previously, didn't we? We won't lose to you. Oh, exciting. Finally get to fight him, eh? I don't know how close to the end I actually am. You would think this guy is the last boss, but I don't know. Where? Oh! Strong. This won't go He's like made of pure time. darkness. I certainly hope that it won't. What do you mean? Do you think it's coincidence that you've encountered Hellion's domains at every turn? So what? This was all your doing? Is that what you want to say? Is this your idea of being merciful? Be on your guard, Saray. Yeah, he's capable of anything. So. How are we supposed to find out if this guy really did bind with Maltellus? We'll just have to fight him head on. You got a death wish? If not that, then what? Tell me something, Heldolf. Are you? <laughs> What's so damn funny? You talk far too much. <sighs> Bring it on then, the come on. Of calamity, and thou art the shepherd. The meeting of the two is by definition conflict. Do you not agree? <laughs> Saray! Here he comes, everyone. Right, so weakness is Earth. Go on, shepherd. Show me what a vessel you are. I won't be pushed over that easily. We're definitely outclassed, but Earthborn! 
of ecstasy you have created. Lila, it's time to settle this. What's wrong? Serene, if you finish this here, can you be absolutely sure you will not regret it later? That's right. Did we really come all this way just to smack old kitty beard around? Or was there something else? As you know, to quell the Lord of Calamity is the duty of the Shepherd. That is not incorrect. Is he challenging us? Do it if we can? No. The bastard's up to something. Yeah, he is. Simone. Yes. Dispose of them. An illusory art. Look out, everyone! You're too late. Whoa! Shit! My, my. You're finally putting some effort into it. How long do you think your malevolence can isolate him? For one of his strength, probably only about ten minutes. I apologize. Hmm. It will do. What have you done, Heldolf? Get ready! What? to manipulate me while I'm still missing the full picture. Is that what you're trying to say? At this rate, he's just going to keep needling me. I'm a plaything to him. Saray, I understand. You've got to help every... You're not getting away. Focus on defense. We just have to find a weak point. Ready? Let's give it up! Sword rain! Why am I running so slow? Is that because of his domain? Wait a fight! Smoke! Move forward! 
Not good. No. I will never give up. Do you not realize how warped it is to struggle so? <sighs> what? Simone, release the squire. At once. Ow! What on? Prepare to see just what your resistance has earned you, Shepard. <gasps> Bruce! Nice. Oh, sweet. Resist this, dumbass. Do you really plan to slay her? A seraph? Killing is my business. Or did you forget? Simone. Very well, as you wish. What? Whoa. Of course he wouldn't care about his underlings. He's the Lord of Calamity, man. <laughs> huh. Psychotic laugh before I die. Toying with you has lost its charm. Shepherd Saray, work under me. No. Should we not bring this world back to the way it was, together? What? Walking a path alongside the Lord of Calamity can only lead to malevolence. Surely you- And what is so strange about that? Malevolence will always be with us. It can only be dispelled by the scant few who hold the power of purification. Are you saying that's the way things should be? Hellions only bring pain to humans and seraphim alike. And so it is therefore natural to resist malevolence? Absurd. Shepherd Surrey, I repeat once more, join me. For too long have the Seraphim been forced to fight the Malevolence. Too long have they been chained, toiling away at their blessings. Let us restore them to their rightful form as Hellions. I refuse. Then let us finish our battle once and for all. I refuse that as well. This is not the time. So you say. But one day you will discover it for yourself, the true nature of humans and seraphim in this world. Hmm. Right, okay, so we need to find out what's going on. No mistake. That bearded menace is connected to Maltellus. When we were trapped by his malevolence, I felt a presence. But there wasn't even a trace of Maltellus back then. Think about it. What if you were convinced you couldn't see something, but it was right under your nose? It's something we see all the time and yet never notice. This? The ground? You mean the Hellion could be using the continent of Glenwood itself as a vessel? Right. There's only one guy out there who'd be capable of pulling it off. But if that's the case... Even if all this is true, is it possible to purify the land itself? If Heldalf were the vessel, it would make a lot more sense. But if the Earth is the vessel, why would Maltellus also be connected to Heldalf? 
Let's find Mountellus. If it's true that Heldoth is connected to Mountellus, who's become a Hellion using the Earth as a vessel, then so long as we don't purify Mountellus, we'll never be able to quell Heldoth. But even with all the legends of Mountellus we've collected, there hasn't been a single clue as to his whereabouts. We should search for Maven. Old man Maven? That's right. He was journeying to study the legends surrounding Maltellus as well. We don't have a clue, but he just might. Yeah, but how are we supposed to find him? I have an inkling. Let's go meet with the ones who protect the ruin of Logren and see what they think. Logren? That's the ruin in Zephgot Moor, right? Yes. Then it's been decided. Let's so off to Zav got more then. Right, right. Just stop that. Hey, are you okay with this? I trust him, though it is a gamble. Hmm. Huh. Right, let's see if we can travel to Zafgot Moor. Hang on, let's talk to... Ah, I'll have to fight this troll first. I want to become stronger as a Seraph. You have more than enough talent for it. Don't push yourself too hard. Except for ponds. Right, from Pierlot's pasture you pasture you gotta head northwest. Um cross the Great Camelot Bridge. Right, I'm not gonna fast travel because I remember there being some um treasure chests up this way so we're gonna try and get to them basically wait that's x-ray glasses this aroma Since the ancient tongue. We're near one. So that was really tense fighting held off, so but it was so awesome. I thought it wouldn't be the final fight though. I was like, yeah, we're close, but not quite. Let's make it quick. Sure. 
Sensei's not the only one with an eye for treasure. Right, so the sway. Done. So I think that Simone's dead now, isn't she? Heldalf just killed her. There might be something nearby. Have we looked at this monolith or not? I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. Nope. Kind of hidden away in that little nook there. Nook nook. Right, so God, it's missions away. I suppose I could have fast travelled, but you know, I found a few things by walking through, so sometimes it's good to do that. You find things you've missed. And I think the herbs regenerate as well. I wonder how close to the end we actually are then. Can't be too much further now. I'm guessing we'll just find out um, you know, a little bit more about what's going on. I don't even know if Heldalf's going to be the actual end game boss now. Obviously, we weren't meant to beat him on this episode because, well, it didn't let us for a start. We seem to be not doing much damage to him as well. I don't know whether that was just because it the game did that on purpose because um, we weren't meant to beat him or if I'm just not very strong because to be honest I haven't spent time merging my weapons or upgrading my weapons in a long time I've just like used the DLC to level up and stuff because at this point I just want to complete the story oh, I can't open that you need the gold key I think Still not got that gold key. Have I missed it somewhere? So, we've got to go through there. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode, guys. And on the next episode, obviously, we shall continue making our way over to the next destination. What's it called again? Logrin. Logrin, I think. Yep, so don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. All those things do help me out as a YouTuber. As always, thank you for watching and take it easy, guys.